Hello, this is Ed Ruby with edwardruby.com. What I wanted to do today was actually walk you through how to do a completed listing search on eBay. The reason you would do this is, for example, you have an item that you want to sell on eBay, but you're not sure how much you're going to get for it if it's used or even if it's new. So let's go ahead and, and continue with the iPod example. So I will type in iPod. 120 gigabytes and hit enter. So this is going to give you two weeks of completed listings which means that they didn't necessarily sell but the listing ended so mixed in there are going to be listings that sold and listings that did not sell that did not end with a sale. So I want to stick again with the uh, preferences here on the left I can choose just to look at iPods and MP3 players. Otherwise, you're going to get all kinds of accessories and such in there, and that's not what we're looking for. So we're going to sell an iPod, 120 gigs, used. If you scroll down here on the left side, you will see completed listings. So you start by typing in the item that you want to research, and then scrolling down to completed listings and clicking on that. Now, the, what comes up are, are, again, two weeks of data, anything in green with a little sold symbol there, sold. So the Beatles, Apple, classic, iPod, 120 gigabytes, sold for $649.95. The next item that we get, have here is the Apple iPod Classic 6th generation black 120 gigabytes $110 and it sold via best offer so you can actually list an item on eBay and say you started at $150 but in your mind you say to yourself okay I'm gonna take $110 uh, you can actually take best offers so people will submit best offers and you can decline them or you can accept them which is a really nice feature that that eBay gives you the next one another Apple iPod 120 gigs sold for $135.99 and here's one that did not sell an iPod classic 120 gig it had six bids got up to $150 the seller was asking for two hundred dollars buy it now but in this case the seller had a reserve so it was not met in the six bids they only got up to hundred and fifty dollars so the seller could have been could have had in mind hundred and seventy dollars he would let it go for and that was his reserve price so he's protecting himself from getting not enough money not what he wanted for that item so that one did not sell and again if it's in red it did not sell anything in green did sell so the next example again an iPod 120 gigabytes five bids sold for 144.61 so again that a completed listing search will give you two weeks of data sold or not sold anything in red did not sell anything in green sold so that way you could take a look at the listings and decide whether or not you accept the average price that these items are going for and whether or not you want to sell it on eBay so I hope this helps and again this is Ed Ruby with edwardruby.com wishing you all the best